Hey guys, this is Taladin, and today I wanted to take a minute to go over how I stream to Twitch now. Uh, if you are a follower on my channel, chances are you've seen my how to stream to Twitch video uh, and Justin TV uh, using a script that uh, I had found parts of and came up with and developed over a period of about three to six months and have been continually tweaking. A lot of people use this script um, even if they don't realize it comes from me and that's fine. I released it open source and that, that's what it's for. But I've gone through and found a new uh, streaming program that I use and I wanted to share with you guys uh, the name of it is Screen Studio. It is a lot better than using the script that I used. The quality is better. The syncing issues are great. It uses a webcam overlay and it also allows you to overlay a stream title and subtitle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to screenstudio.crombs.com. That's C-R-O-M-B-Z.com. And you'll want to go over there and download the uh, binary archive or the sources you can also uh, do a a uh, there's a Ubuntu repository for it if you're using Ubuntu and I like I say I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 along with Java 7 you will have to have Java 7 installed uh, you also have to have AVConv, AVCONV installed. Usually it's already installed. Uh, I know it says you have to have JRE6, but I'm using JRE7 and it works. Webcams are optional. Some account, YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, Ustream, it, it's, it's already set up to stream to all those guys. Um, you want to go over there and follow the instructions for downloading as far as the um, right here full instructions it gives you how to add the app repository how to install it everything should work really fine it goes it goes through all of all of that information now the other thing and I will link to a video uh, that the guy who wrote the program put up uh, he's a really nice guy uh, really responsive to people who ask questions and things like that so once you get screen studio studio and run it it's gonna come up with this symbol up here uh, which is the screen studio logo and you have this page here now when you go to set it up you have an options button up here open custom XML don't worry about that remote control don't worry about that set capture area don't worry about that advanced don't worry about that now you can set video folder and identify screens if you want to identify it will tell you which screen is which that's fine if you have multiple screens like I do if you don't it's not a big problem the biggest thing you want to do is look at your stream settings you, you have your stream options, Twitch.tv, Hitbox, Ustream, or Generic, and YouTube Live. If you're streaming to someone somewhere besides Twitch, YouTube, or Hitbox, you use the Ustream Generic, and you can put in the URL for it. Uh, Twitch gets to pick out which servers you want to stream to. Um, I'm in South Georgia, so I usually stream to the Miami, Florida server since it's closest. Profile, you get 1080p, 720p, 480, 360, and 240. I usually keep it at 720p and use very fast on the preset. That helps avoid uh, issues with frame dropping and things like that. If you have a really hardcore rig, then you could probably keep it on ultra fast, but very fast works very well for me. Um, keep it around 720p. You could do 1080p again if you have a hardcore rig. Your stream key, if you will go to your Twitch dashboard and go to stream key and click on show key, you copy that and put your stream key in there. That will be, and you will be basically set and ready to stream. You could stream right then. Now, the other thing that you want to do is check out your sources, which screen or, uh, yeah, basically which screen you're going to be streaming from. Again, if you don't have multiple screens, not a big problem. Frames per second, webcam, and the size you want the webcam overlay to be. 
do you want the webcam delayed and then your audio now notice this has two audio sources so you can you can record your audio from your camera or I'm not I'm sorry not your camera your audio from your microphone and your audio from your system so that if you have music or game audio or anything like that you can tell it two audio sources to, to record from uh, that avoids having to go through and set up a null adapter in pulse audio though you can still do that to record if you want to uh, just for the Linux experience, but uh, it's it's a it's a lot better than having to to set up Pulse Audio to specially be able to record microphone and uh, system sound system audio. You have a couple options here: your recording and streaming shortcuts. You can record to a uh, FLV, which is uh, flash video, MP4, YUV plus wave mp mpeg g or excuse me mpeg ts i usually keep it on flv because i don't use uh, screen studio to record i haven't tried that i use simple screen recorder and that's what i'm using right now but i'm sure it would work with your system uh, you just have to have a good bit of hard drive space to be able to record videos now the other thing that you want to look at and i specifically skipped over the overlay tab the overlay tab is uh, on the older version of Screen Studio, there were a couple options here where you could tell it which file you wanted to use as your logo or tell it to pick from a couple of different files and, <coughs> excuse me, have it um, type out what you wanted the screen or the, the title of the stream to be and all that. Uh, obviously, your vertical alignment and your webcam layout right here, pretty simple to understand. Bottom, top, bottom right, top right on... Your, how you want the video or the overlay aligned webcam cam layout tells you which uh, area in the screen you want the webcam to be since the update screen studio 1.2.1 and 1.2.2 um, which I'm on 1.2.1 now I haven't updated yet but 1.2.2 is out and I suggest you go ahead and get that your overlay you can tell it to do a file a specific file and as you can see here my file is home swift screen studio overlay.html you want it to be a standard simple html file okay and there are some guys doing some uh some overlays that uh pretty neat that you can point at uh you can use this to point to a url for an overlay if somebody has a uh, overlay set up that you want to use uh, and they share it with you or share it online, you can use that URL for the overlay. Really neat stuff going on there. But as you can see, this is pretty much the standard HTML file that uh, comes with the program. The biggest thing that you're going to want to do is change the image that you use. As you can see here, I'm not sourcing a URL, I'm sourcing a file. And it's just my avatar file, and it's a, a 200 by 200 uh, PNG, and you can use whatever type of file you want to as long as it fits within the dimensions of the logo uh, otherwise it, it won't look very good you keep your alignment this is all standard HTML stuff there's nothing real wiggy about it um, you have your stream title there and then your subtitle if you wanted to write anything else out you could but it has this little button right here that is a preview button that shows you what it would look like as you can see it has my logo down here and it has my stream title and my subtitle and that will let you test and see what it looks like that way you can go through and change the file however you want to if you want if you want different overlays for different games or different uh, stream days or whatever you could do one for every day of the week or every hour of the day if you wanted to it doesn't matter uh, you just have to change your overlay source in there now simple screen studio it rocks the um, frame rate issues are gone the syncing issues are gone the audio lag uh, audio sync issues are gone everything so far I've not had any problems with I am not using my old streaming script at all anymore right now I'm using screen studio for all the streaming that I do to twitch I haven't done it to hitbox yet but I'm sure it works just as good for hitbox as it does for twitch so I'm gonna put a link down to Patrick Below's uh, video about screen studio 
uh, in the description. Remember, go over there, give him a like, give him a follow. Uh, if you guys are trying to stream, this is the software that you should be using. Uh, until Open Broadcaster comes out, and even after Open Broadcaster comes out, I don't know that the, that Open OBS will be better than this. It will probably be equivalent with some different features. If you just need a simple screening, uh, so, excuse me, simple streaming program that does what you need it to do, has the overlays, has the webcam, rock and roll. This is the this is the software, and it's ready and it's working. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, and give me a follow. Let me know down in the comments below if you if you use this software or if you've heard of this software. Uh, and just let me know what you guys think about it. And I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you later.